we got we we um had trouble finding our apartment you know we had trouble finding our apartment because we really dumb about looking for an apartment especially me really dumb I didn't figure out the best way to look for an apartment until you know it was almost too late to figure out the best way is to look in the local newspaper in the classified ads in the local newspaper that's what you need to do that's the best way forget all these internet sites well I mean maybe I should say that go ahead and look on the internet but to look on the internet for an apartment is so overwhelming to me I'll look for, for a minute or so and I'll just give it up because it's like too overwhelming the best thing to do is look in the, the the local newspaper for the city you're in and the classified ad section. Hey Justin, how's it going? <laughs> you want to be in the movie? <laughs> want to be recorded on video? <laughs> you get your tool set? Okay, little miniature tool set. Okay. Uh, where was I at? My concentration isn't good. At least part of my problem is nutrition. Don't get nearly, don't get nearly enough nutrients. I bet all all these people all over the place are very hard put to, to, to get like even um, a quarter of the nutrients you're supposed to have per day. I mean, I should say one half, I don't know, a certain percentage of the nutrients you're supposed to have on a, on a day to day basis. You know, excuse me. And I know I, that's probably one reason I feel so bad is uh, not getting enough uh, nutrients and vitamins. But that's just not all there is to it. Mm. I stay in the city. Wish I had money. Wish I could leave this very minute. Out of here. And Justin, you out of here on Greyhound. Find a good home for sweet baby kitty. Hopefully a good home. Oh gosh, I'm going to move out of here. I have to find this kitty at home. Uh, why? It's such a big worry. You know, there's too many bad people out there. Hopefully we'll find her a good and loving home, you know. Someone who is responsible who will who will feed her good food and water daily and, and give her lots of love and lots of pets and hold her a lot and you know, she's a real happy cat here with us. Sure hope I can find her a family that where she could still be a happy cat for as long as she lives. I mean, for a full cat's life. Um, anyways, we, we found this old house to rent and it wasn't in a good location either and it was on the bad side of town or at least a lot of people call it the bad side of town and well what they mean by that is they mean it's the side of Louisville where lots of black people live at but you know most of these black people African American people they're pretty nice people, most of them. We run into a few few that were super prejudiced. I hope hopefully it's just a few and not a lot that are prejudiced, you know, against white people. And um on our street most of these people are pretty nice. Except for we have some neighbors that live like kitty corner from us and we had some problems with them. 
right off the bat, the first day we were here. Should have borrowed this oat. Not even worth five dollar fan from them. Some of because the, they give us problems over. We're a little stupid junky fan, you know. Well, didn't become friends with them, I'll tell you that much. And um they are party people. They party a lot. But, you know, things ain't been too bad. This is a quiet little street, except for them partying. <laughs> and, um, most of these people in this area, they're really friendly. And we're one of the few, it's not very many white people live, live around here. But, um, uh, these black folks, they, they live sit outside their house in the summertime. And you, you pass by, and uh, now some of them will wave to you right away. And um, I found out I needed to wave first before they would wave. Not, not, not in every case. But you know, there's been some good things about living here in Louisville, but the looks of the place, it, it's kind of bleak looking. Some of these neighborhoods. It was uh, very bleak. And the street I'm on, the, these little houses around here, they're, they're just like the houses in my hometown. <laughs> they look just like the houses in my hometown, I tell you. And the terrain of this place, it looks just like uh, Illinois. It looks just like it. Except for like the hills, you know. Kentucky has some really beautiful hills, you know. And very green, a lot of forest, and and um, beautiful hills.